This episode of the TV Binge's Pilot Roundtable is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. Hello and welcome back to the TVBinges.com Pilot Roundtable, a Southgate Media Group podcast. I'm Kyle Tremblay, the editor of TVBinges.com, and I am joined as always by a fellow TV Binges writer. She's being controlled by a race of ants from space. It's Olivia Richards. Hello. How did you know? I, I, I'm the detective. I solved it. Well, there you go. <laughs> I went to the museum and I saw the asteroid. Um, so <laughs> today we are, of course, talking about CBS's newest political horror comedy. It's Brain Dead. Olivia, what did you think? Oh, my gosh. I have a lot of mixed feelings on Me this. Me, too. I'm leaning <laughs> towards the positive, and there yeah. are a few little things that, you know, I can point out that I want to see going forward, but I can definitely tell you right off the bat that this is going to be a show that I want to keep track of. Yeah, this is a weird one. It, <laughs> yeah, that's it's a weird, it lately. <laughs> I mean, I suspect that political horror comedy was a good tip-off of that. But yeah, yeah, this is a weird one. So, so the premise, if I can condense it into one sentence, which I can't, but here we go, is that uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, uh, playing a character named Laurel Healy, who is a documentary filmmaker, um... She gets roped uh, into working for her senator brother's um, political machine. She she becomes like an aide for her brother, who is a U.S. senator. Mm -hmm. Um, And so the show is about her being a kind of fish out of water in politics, um, a very capable political operative, but also – um, a very reluctant one who is, is kind of cynical about politics in general. Um, but while that's happening, there's also an asteroid that hits Earth. And that asteroid releases a race of ants from space who crawl into people's brains and take over their bodies. So... <laughs> <laughs> and, and of course, they are taking over the uh, the bodies of United States senators and, and U.S. government in general. And it's gradually like a takeover. <laughs> so, yep. so that's our premise. <laughs> um, what what were some of the what were some of your good things about this? Like, what's what's in the good column? Because I think that that as you said, and I agree, there's a lot in both columns in this pilot, in both the good and the bad column. What what are some of the positives? Well, first and foremost, right off the bat, I think just excellent casting. I'm mm-hmm. a huge fan of Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Um, and this isn't her first, you know, time kind of delving into sci-fi. Yeah. Um, I just recently saw her on 10 Cloverfield Lane, and she was incredible. So seeing her kind of take what she did with that role and kind of transfer it in aspects into this role was amazing. And then you have, like, Tony Shalhou, which is just, he's always fun to watch. And, um yeah, I just think that the cast had this really, really amazing, you know, chemistry with one another and whatever capacity that they were kind of able to kind of bounce off of each other with like their wit and then like the kind of comedic aspect of the show. Um, I think, you know, just the content of the show in general was as kind of bizarre as it is. I think there's something there and that it's sort of like this weird, like comedy horror blend where it kind of has this like invasion of the body snatchers feel to it, which... I really, really liked and just seeing what the cast was kind of doing with the absurdity of that content was really, really kind of fun in moments to watch. Yeah, I agree. I I think I think Mary Elizabeth Winstead's performance is excellent in this pilot. I think I think she is instantly a character who you understand where she's coming from. And it's uh, she's our point of view character as well as our our protagonist, which is nice. Um, Yeah, she. I, th- I think that that character is, is honestly kind of what what makes this work despite some of the faults that we'll get to um, because she's very relatable. She's very competent. I think competence is an underrated thing to have in a uh, main character that too often shows forget that it's more fun to watch competent people than incompetent people. And right. it's nice to have a main character who you can root for and who's clever. She's obviously in over her head um, more than she even realizes regarding the alien invasion, but 
um, she's she's very skilled at what she's doing, and I, I think that that makes it uh, very very pleasant to watch. Um, and yeah, just the the sort of bonkersness of this all, and the uh, the topical nature of the show. It very much exists in 2016, and I think it accurately reflects the modern political climate. And the show is definitely cynical about politics, but it's also reflecting the cynicism that exists around politics. And so it's hard to separate what is what cynicism from the show and what is just a reflection of cynicism that exists. And so I don't, I, I normally am not a huge fan of uh, cynicism on TV, but it, it seems to make sense here given the subject matter. And yet that mix, that comedy horror mix and on, layering on top of that, like a sort of good wife style political drama is very right. like, you got a lot going on. There's a lot of directions that could go. Um, the, the idea that like, during any scene, someone's brain could pop out of the, out of it, their head, as, as happened with Tony Shalhoub here, um, <laughs> is very like adds a layer of tension to the proceedings that I think is nice. Um, so yeah, I mean that. I, I, yeah, I think that I agree with you about the positives, and that that sums it up. What are some of your uh, negatives for this? What, what 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 didn't work for you? For me, I just. The show totally seemed kind of indecisive because it kind of oscillates between the comedy aspect versus, you know, when the show takes itself or takes itself very, very seriously and it feels more like the horror aspect. I feel like the show could either go one direction in that it could be completely off the wall and lean more towards the comedy side or it could go all the way in the other direction and be just really, really creepy and unsettling. And they had aspects of that. Like they had that song that played throughout when you kind of hear the, um, the people who are brainwashed to link onto that same song. And that was very, very creepy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you had different elements of the people being possessed and you see the bugs come in for the first time that were very, very, you know, unsettling. And then you had more of like the comedy aspects and you have like Tony Shalhoub's character come in and he's just, you know, always kind of fun and entertaining to watch on screen but I think it kind of jumped too much between the two polar opposites. And I kind of want to see it find a middle ground. Yeah, I think I think that's a good good point. Um, I, I'll do my sort of traditional style of analysis, which happens with a lot of pilots, which is that right. this is a horror comedy that is neither scary nor funny, which is an instant problem right off the bat. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is instantly a problem. This pilot is an hour long. And nothing was scary in it. There's a couple stuff that, that were, I would say, creepy, which is the word you used that I would agree with. There was some creepy stuff and there was some weird stuff. And there were, and as far as the comedy goes, there was some like um, lighthearted is about as generous as I'll be um, exchanges. But nothing was laugh out loud funny and nothing was like edge of your seat scary. And so you're trying to be a horror comedy and neither of those two things is really accomplished in this pilot. So that's a problem. <laughs> Fundamentally, that's a problem is when yeah. you aren't you aren't really um, nailing either of the things you're trying to do. And then as you were saying, the political story is th – they, they admirably have – it made a major commitment to the political side of things. And it is really as much a show about politics as it is about uh, horror and an alien invasion. And that that's interesting. And it certainly keeps the show from being a sort of like step A, B, C, D, we're fighting the invasion. We're just going straight through it. Like a kind of falling skies type show. You know, these sort of basic cable, like, there's one goal of this show and we're heading in that direction kind of kind of model. It's not that. It, it very much has a lot going on and it bounces back and forth, which at times I think keeps things interesting and keeps it from being, like, too much on a track. But at other times, I'm like, I don't know if I care about this political stuff that much. Like, I, And I don't know if the show has I, – what I think the miscalculation in this pilot is – is that the politics of this show need to be really funny. That's where the comedy needs to happen, right? The horror needs to be with the alien ants, and the comedy needs to be with the straightforward politics. But they take the straightforward politics too seriously, and they make it too much 
the drama of the show. And so then you have the drama of the aliens and the drama of the politics and the comedy is just kind of sprinkled in. I, th- I think that this show needed to be a lot more, take a lot more chances with the political stuff to find ways to make it funny. I mean, it's never going to be Veep, but find find an in, find a tone to make the politics funny because that's supposed to be the balance against the horror stuff. And it's it's really just this pilot, I think, I don't know if you agree, but the pilot to me felt like the politics was just the boring stuff and the horror stuff was what was interesting. <laughs> That's how I feel because I feel like, you know, the horror stuff was in the foreground. Like you were seeing that a lot more head on and zoomed in than you were the political aspect. Because the political aspect you kind of were catching in sound bites and mm-hmm. like you would have like the camera pan over and like the characters would have just, you know, been doing something and then you kind of see like the TV in the background. Right. So if they kind of found a balance where you get a perspective on both and it wasn't just that you know you were kind of catching the political stuff and like little sound bites and whenever the you know camera happened to you know pan over out of you know what just happened in a major scene that would kind of put things more on a level playing field yeah and, and this show doesn't have a real this show actually is extremely committed to being um either bipartisan or anti-partisan wh- whichever way you want to look at it in that it, it almost like blatantly takes turns making Republican and Democrat jokes. Like like in, in one scene, the Republican's the bad guy and the next scene, the Democrat's the bad guy. And it alternates throughout the episode. And I, I completely understand like the realities of TV making is you want to appeal to as many people as possible. But also it, it kind of messed with the authenticity for me because I feel like the people doing the show aren't – advancing any kind of perspective on it not necessarily like an agenda but just like they don't really have a perspective it seems like the the people who are running this show are have a have a decent surface level grasp on politics but are completely unwilling to engage in anything beyond that surface level because it could make the show out to be partisan one way or the other and so it's very much like the the treatment of politics i think accurately captures how people feel, but the show doesn't actually, at least in this pilot, have anything interesting to say beyond that. And so, you know, again, you don't have comedy, you don't have uh, any, like, interesting political observations. The politics side of this pilot is just kind of straightforward drama that isn't isn't all that interesting. I completely agree with that. So, so, but one thing I do like is the potential for it to overlap with the alien side. Like, I liked how... Tony Shalhoub's character started as this sort of drunken, philandering senator <laughs> who was willing to cross the, the party lines to make a deal. Um, but once he's taken over by aliens, he becomes this sort of killer, <laughs> probably literally, but certainly figuratively <laughs> yeah. in politics, um, who is now making deals of his own and taking command and all of that. Like, I, I do like how how you can see the alien invasion is going to gradually shift the political landscape. And I find that very interesting. So that's, that's one of the, like my hopes going forward is that that continues. And I definitely agree with that. we talk so many times about when it comes to pilots, the shows kind of have to find their footing. And with this, uh, the, one of the major reasons, you know, I want to keep watching going forward is I just, I want to see how it's going to find that balance and how it's going to move forward with all these kind of different, like bizarre elements that really shouldn't fit together, but make for this like kind of bizarrely entertaining Mm -hmm. show overall. Yeah. It's got a lot of like interesting parts and it's got an interesting idea at the center of it and, and a great performance in the middle and, and, and really good performances around the edges. And you know, that, that, that's enough to be interesting. At least I, I don't know if this pilot was particularly good. I def I definitely got bored in the middle of it, um, mm-hmm. right before Tony Shalhoub's brain popped out, um, <laughs> and you know that that's that's fine. Like, but also your big scare moment can't be like a gross out moment. Like, I would hope that they could come up with some actually like scary stuff in future episodes. But it's the pilot. Who knows? So, um, unfortunately, <laughs> this one did a point seven in the demo. With 4.5 million viewers, which is a big swing and a miss for Brain Dead. Um, do you think it'll be canceled quickly, make it through the season, or renewed for next season? Oh man, part of me hopes it's at least going to make it through the season, just because it's only 13 episodes, which for you know a show that's not that many. But with that 
kind of viewer rating, I can't imagine that we're going to be seeing it for a second. Yeah, that that's disappointing. People aren't buying it, you know, and, and maybe it's the name brain dead. It just, I don't know if that's a great name. That sounds like it could be like a stoner comedy. <laughs> like yeah. I understand it's clever, but it also just doesn't quite capture the weirdness of this show. Um, or maybe it's just the summer viewing. I mean, who knows what the reason is, but yeah, didn't capture a big audience. This one might get canceled. I think, um, it might just be something that CBS bails on. Um, but hopefully it'll get through one season at least. Um, so Olivia, your final verdict, thumbs up or thumbs down on brain dead. Oh man, for whatever it's worth going forward, I would love if the show could at least make it through a first season because I just want to see where it's going. And this is me speaking completely not, you know, possessed by alien bugs. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, exactly. I I think this, this pilot had a lot of issues. I think it, it, uh, it failed my test, which is it, it didn't really, it wasn't really anything. It didn't really succeed at doing anything particularly well, but yet the premise is interesting the performances are interesting. There's a lot of potential. I am sort of naturally predisposed to any kind of horror show. I think there should be a lot more of them. I think that's a big gap in TV. Um, so I'm going to give it a thumbs up for, for Brain Dead, um, even if it is sort of uh, not not going to affect it in the long term, given those ratings. So yeah, a, uh, we, yeah, a, a possibly sad thumbs up from the both of us. <laughs> um, so you've been listening to the Pilot Roundtable, a TV Binges.com and Southgate Media Group production. You can listen to all of our episodes on iTunes where you can rate and review us. We'd appreciate that. Or find us at SouthgateMediaGroup.com. Follow Olivia on Twitter at Richards Olivia and me on Twitter at Kyle Loves TV. Until next time.